The strength of an earthquake is calculated using Richter's formula, m equals a logarithm of a over a naught, where m is the magnitude of the earthquake, which is unitless, a is the seismograph amplitude of the earthquake being measured in meters, and a naught is the seismograph amplitude of a threshold earthquake, which is 10 to the power of negative 6 meters. In part a, an earthquake has a seismograph amplitude of 10 to the power of negative 2 meters. What is the magnitude of the earthquake? Rewrite the magnitude formula, m equals the logarithm of a over a naught. a subscript 0 can be called either a0 or a0. Naught. naught is just an alternative word for 0, and it is often used when we want to indicate a reference quantity. Replace the seismograph amplitude with 10 to the power of negative 2 meters, and replace the threshold amplitude with 10 to the power of negative 6 meters. Divide to get log 10,000. The earthquake has a magnitude of 4 on the Richter scale. Now we'll move on to part B. The magnitude of an earthquake is 5.0 on the Richter scale. What is the seismograph amplitude of this earthquake? Rewrite the magnitude formula, m equals the logarithm of a over a naught. Plug in 5 for the earthquake magnitude, and 10 to the power of negative 6 for the threshold amplitude. Rewrite 10 to the power of negative 6 with a positive exponent. Rewrite the equation so the logarithm is on the left side. This will make it easier to convert to exponential form in the next step. Convert to exponential form using the 7 rule. Divide to isolate A. Subtract the exponents to get 10 to the power of negative 1. The seismograph amplitude is one-tenth of a meter. Now we'll move on to part C. Two earthquakes have magnitudes of 4.0 and 5.5. Calculate the seismograph amplitude ratio for the two earthquakes. Rewrite the magnitude formula, m equals the logarithm of a over a naught. We need to find the seismograph amplitudes for each earthquake. Plug in 4 for the magnitude and 10 to the power of negative 6 for the threshold amplitude. Rewrite 1 over 10 to the power of negative 6 as 10 to the power of 6. Rewrite the equation so the logarithm is on the left side. This will make it easier to convert to exponential form in the next step. Convert to exponential form using the 7 rule. Divide to isolate A. The seismograph amplitude is 10 to the power of negative 2 meters. Using similar steps, we get a seismograph amplitude of 10 to the power of negative 0.5 meters for the second earthquake. Now we'll calculate the amplitude ratio. Divide the larger amplitude by the smaller amplitude. Subtract the exponents to get 10 to the power of 1.5. Ten raised to the power of one point five is approximately equal to thirty one point six.
A magnitude 5.5 earthquake is approximately 31.6 times stronger than a 4.0 earthquake. Now we'll move on to Part D. The calculation in Part C required multiple steps because we are comparing each amplitude with A0 instead of comparing the two amplitudes to each other. It is possible to derive the formula A2 over A1 equals 10 to the power of M2 minus M1, which compares two amplitudes directly without requiring A0. Derive this formula. Rewrite the magnitude formula. M equals the logarithm of A over A0. Begin by finding an expression for A1. Plug in M1 for the magnitude and A1 for the seismograph amplitude. Convert to exponential form. Cross multiply to get A1 equals A0 times 10 to the power of M1. Now we'll find an expression for A2. Plug in M2 for the magnitude and A2 for the seismograph amplitude. Convert to exponential form. Cross multiply to get A2 equals A0 times 10 to the power of M2. Now divide the larger amplitude by the smaller amplitude to get the amplitude ratio. Plug in the expressions we found for A2 and A1. Simplify to get the result. A2 over A1 equals 10 to the power of M2 minus M1. In part E, what is the ratio of seismograph amplitudes for earthquakes with magnitudes of 5.0 and 6.0? Rewrite the formula we derived in part D. Plug in 6 for M2 and 5 for M1. An earthquake with a magnitude of 6.0 is 10 times stronger than a 5.0 earthquake. Using this formula to find the amplitude ratio is much faster than the approach used in Part C. In part F, show that an equivalent form of the equation is M2 minus M1 equals the logarithm of A2 over A1. We write the formula we derived in part D. Take the logarithm of each side. Expand using the power law. Log of 10 equals 1. Reorder the equation to get the result. M2 minus M1 equals the logarithm of A2 over A1. Now we'll move on to part G. What is the magnitude of an earthquake with triple the seismograph amplitude of a magnitude 5.0 earthquake? We write the formula we derived in part F. When the amplitude ratio is greater than 1, for example double or triple, the numerator A2 is a stronger earthquake. We can rewrite the formula as ms minus mw equals the logarithm of as over aw. Note that we are changing the subscripts to s for strong and w for weak.
When the amplitude ratio is less than 1, for example half or one quarter, the denominator A1 is a stronger earthquake. We can rewrite the formula as MW minus MS equals the logarithm of AW over AS. Note that we are changing the subscripts to S for strong and W for weak. The amplitude ratio is greater than 1, it's tripling, so M2 and A2 correspond to the stronger earthquake, and M1 and A1 correspond to the weaker earthquake. Plug in 5 for MW and 3 for the amplitude ratio. Isolate the magnitude of the stronger earthquake. The magnitude of the stronger earthquake is 5.5. Now we'll move on to part H. What is the magnitude of an earthquake with one-fourth the seismograph amplitude of a magnitude 6.0 earthquake? The amplitude ratio is less than 1, it's one-fourth, so M2 and A2 correspond to the weaker earthquake, and M1 and A1 correspond to the stronger earthquake. Plug in 6 for the magnitude of the stronger earthquake, and 1 quarter for the amplitude ratio. Isolate the magnitude of the weaker earthquake. The magnitude of the weaker earthquake is 